As for us, we are scheduled for a nighttime massage for an hour and a half. Wow, that's gonna be awesome. And then straight to bed. So guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I will see you guys in the morning for day two here at the farm at San Benito. Bye guys, love you. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. How are you doing? A brand new day. Guys, we are here in San Benito, the farm. A beautiful, gorgeous wellness spa resort. Um, RJ arranged it for my birthday. Um, and so this is our second day now. We're going to eat breakfast. By the way, guys, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos, RJ Garcia, my partner. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Come join the Mabuhay Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Guys, the scenery here is just gorgeous. Whoever's in charge of their landscaping, guys, is really talented. <laughs> this is what RJ and I were talking about. Like, RJ, we need to hire the right landscaper for our pro property. Listen to the cicadas. So loud. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous property. Now, the entire property is how many hectares? 43 hectares. It's huge, guys. Um, and there's a farm, like an organic farm here. The spa, place for yoga. Like, literally, this place is massive. And it's totally gorgeous. Last night, we had an hour and a half massage, which was totally awesome. RJ said it was one of the best massages he's ever had in his life. And yeah, I think we're gonna do several other treatments today and I look forward to it. One of them is like pricking our blood, examining our blood or something to tell what our health constitution is. I don't know. We're gonna do that later. Hi there, ducky. I think this duck wants food. Hi there. Sorry, we don't have food. We're actually going to get some too. Oh, you are so, so cute. All right, guys, here we are. Now, um, this place offers vegetarian meals and pescatarian meals. Um, they don't offer like a lot of red meat and that kind of thing. It's, it's all about health and wellness, guys. Ooh, fancy. Right by the pool. Gorgeous. Oh, RJ, look at the color of the pool tiles. They're like teal. Gorgeous. Guys, you know what's funny? Now that RJ and I are building a home, all of a sudden we look at like buildings and structures and these kinds of resorts with new eyes. Like we notice certain things now, like for example, as soon as we see a pool, I'm like, okay, wow, what are what tiling are they using for the walls? What size of tiling? Oh, is that an expensive tile? Look at the design of the curve. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like we're looking at new eyes. Look at the, the decking. Wow, what, what kind of decking is this? It's interesting. We look at lighting now. Very, very cool. Mm, guys, check it out. Granola with assorted grains. Yummy. And fresh fruit with coconut yogurt. Mm. How cute. They've got something to keep away the flies. See, guys, it's all vegetarian. Guys, let's try the grains, the granola. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my. So good. Guys, let's try the fresh fruit with coconut yogurt. Coconut yogurt? I didn't even know that was a thing. Mmm. Mmm. So tasty, guys. Guys, and coconut nectar. this is bread with coconut nectar? Yes. Coconut nectar and cashew cheese. Guys, did you know there was such a thing as cashew cheese? I'm gonna break my no carb diet or low carb diet. And I'm just gonna try this cashew cheese. Thank you. I'm gonna dip it in. Oh, wow, the coconut nectar. Mmm, mmm, that really does taste like cheese. Mmm, try that. Mmm, oh my gosh, guys, you know what? That coconut nectar tastes like kind of like maple syrup. Mmm, salad. Mmm, wow, here's the main course, guys. This is like a tofu scramble. It looks like eggs, but it's actually made of tofu. Wow, and potatoes. Mmm, guys, check this out. This is buckwheat pancakes. Mmm, buckwheat pancakes? Yum. Okay, guys, let's try this buckwheat pancake. What? Buckwheat? And it's got like sliced almonds on it. And I'm guessing that coconut, like, nectar that just tastes so good. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 Oh my 
gosh, guys. Mm. Pancakes remind me of my childhood. Mm. Guys, I'm in heaven. Hi, guys. These are geese and ducks. They're looking for food. You guys are looking for food right now. I don't have any currently. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, guys. The geese are chasing us. I'm sorry, we don't have food. None, 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 none. We just ate it all. OMG, guys, I heard some thudding noise. And look. Boom. That's dangerous. Guys, there's a guy up there. How did he get up there? And he's cutting down coconuts. You guys can't see see it that much right now but he is totally up there and does he have equipment is he hanging on something no safety equipment no nothing he's just totally up there guys wow oh okay so they climb oh my gosh it's a loud thud they climb these little chops in the um, trunk and they climb it wow oh my Oh my, I had no idea. It's, it's literally like, do you guys hear that? Guys, the dogs go crazy when we come back. We're actually trying to train them to, you know, be okay on their own for like an hour or two. Because, you know, at the condo, they're always with someone. They're either with our house manager at the LC or either of us. But we are trying to train them to be okay with, you know, just being at home alone as dogs. And they're really good. They pee and poo it in, on the puppy pad. <laughs> good girl. And they go crazy when, when we come in. Yes, guys, we missed you. We missed you. Told you we'd be back. <laughs> RJ just fed them apples. Good doggies. You're eating healthy. They're already killing bees. You see that? They killed that bee. They killed another bee. They killed this male ant right there. You guys are killers. Sahara, you like it out here, huh? Basking in the outside in the sun is sure beats basking through a window, doesn't it? <laughs> so Mabu High Squad, RJ and I are trying to figure out what this contraption is for. What is it for? See, it's like, it reminds me of a like a lacrosse, you know, thing. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's not for lacrosse. My guess is here, these are my guesses. One, it could be for saving someone, like grab on, I gotcha, and then you pull them to safety. Another thing might be it's a net, see, like let's say you drop something in the pool and you don't want to jump in, you just use this to grab it, scoop it out maybe, or maybe if you have to get something at the bottom of the pool, what is this for guys? All of you pool owners, tell me. Cause RJ and I, we can't figure it out. All right guys, before we head out, let's see our positive affirmation for Saturday, June the 26th. Oops. This is the best decade of my life so far. Yes, I love it. This is the best decade of my life so far. I personally am going to say this, it having been my birthday, my 40th birthday recently. This like resonates with me. I want this to be true. Say it with me guys, all of you, and feel the words in your own life. This is the best decade of my life so far. Mm. Let's tap into the energy of the universe, guys. This is the best decade of my life so far. All right, we're off. The dogs love going on these walks. I love that this resort is pet friendly. Yes, Sahara, hold on, hold your horsies. One size. <laughs> Guys, Cypher loves this. We didn't really get to experience this as Cypher was growing up because he's a quarantine dog. We're tangling. All right, guys, behind the wheel is Tammy again. Hi, Tammy. Hi. With guest services manager. Oh, the dogs are hanging out. Guys, this is a golf cart. Should we get one like this? Okay. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> this is a family excursion. I remember growing up, me, my brother, my mom, and my dad, we went to Disneyland in Orla Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Twice we've been. And that's what this feels like. <laughs> Guys, this is a family trip. <laughs>
Okay guys, so we're heading now to what's called the heli farm. It's the farm within the farm. And the reason why it's called a heli farm is because sometimes the guests prefer to come here by helicopter. That right there is a helipad. See that? Now I said that this was like a celebrity resort. It really is. <laughs> I mean, sometimes people don't want to take the two hour ride from Manila. So they just fly in. Yeah. RJ, when are we going to get a helicopter? <laughs> guys, lettuce and onions. And look guys, here in the Philippines, well, I don't know, I'm sure even abroad, I'm not sure how farming happens in Canada and US, but here in the Philippines, it's super hot. So um, soil dries out, dries out fast. Um, so they need to constantly irrigate the soils so that, you know, the plants don't die of heat and dryness. And wow, guys. Have cucumbers, these vines. Cucumbers? All right. Lemongrass is here. Awesome tomatoes. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm excited. Guess what we're about to do right now? We're going to pick carrots. I've never done this before. Have you guys, any of you picked carrots? So this is what a carrot plant looks like. I mean, yeah, you see it in the grocery, but I suppose, but... There you go. Oh, it is so orange. And you can pull out from like this. You hold it, you shake it a little, and then okay. pull it up. Oh my gosh, Mabu High Squad, this is so special. Carrot picking. Okay, so what? I wiggle. Wiggle it. Uh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> oh, there. Oh my gosh, it's a baby carrot. It's okay. <laughs> it's not about the size. It's about the flavor. <laughs> I guess. Oh my gosh. And the quality. Is and the quality. All organic. All organic. Wow. Mmm. It's kind of, it's not a baby carrot. It's not like a huge carrot. Teenage it's just like a, yeah, a, teen, a teenage carrot. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was my first carrot. We'll clean it off later. You, we can eat this? Uh, well, we, we'll have it trimmed and cleaned okay. in a while. Okay. Wow, guys. That is awesome. What an experience. Mmm. Eggplant. See that? They grow everything here. And then they harvest what they grow um, and serve it to the guests. Ooh, this is okra. So this is what an okra plant looks like. Guys, this here is called lady's finger. See that? Wow, it's huge. These okras are massive. See that? See how big that is? Wow. This is a special kind of eggplant. What do they call it? Aubergines. Aubergines. Mm. I guess this is what they put in the like Thailand soup. The mm -hmm. Thai soups. Holy! Look at the size of this mushroom! It's huge! Wow! Is this edible? We're not even sure if this is edible, but that's the biggest cluster. That budded here, it didn't get. Yeah, it just came out of nowhere. Oh, wow! We got chili peppers, you see that? Green. There's some red ones here. Love that. Lemongrass. Guys, fresh lemongrass. I love the smell of it. Mmm! Mmm, it reminds me of Thai food. Mm, RJ, let's go to Thailand. RJ's like, do you know what this is? Hmm, I can't say I do. It reminds me of a certain plant that's now legal in Canada. What? Oh, it's cassava. Okay, this is cassava, guys. Mmm, okay. Hurry, the water's coming, guys. This irrigation, like, squirted me. But it's okay, it's organic. Okay. Look at the corn. Wow, so this is what corn looks like in its like intermediate stage. See? Man, so in case you don't know, RJ and I also have an agricultural farm in Iloilo and there are several crops there of corn. Can't wait to taste our own homegrown corn. And um, according to a farmer we met here in the Philippines in um, Cagayan, he says that the most lucrative crop for farmers to grow is corn. You can derive so many products from it, I guess. Guys, rooster farm. See that? They've got goats and sheep. See that? I'd love a sheep. Wow, guys, look at what I just found. Is this like a certain flower or fungus that like grows? Look, look, she says it just, they just sprout out of nowhere, out of the ground. And look, there's like an inside part, see that? And then this bulbous part. What kind of plant is this, I wonder? It's so gorgeous, and look at how big it is, guys. It's massive, I'm not gonna touch it in case it's toxic, but it's quite big. What an interesting thing. All right, guys, we're back. Wasn't that a cool expedition to their farm? <laughs> We're gonna try going swimming. Wow, beautiful, beautiful weather. I love the color of their pool, guys. All right, room's clean. Yeah, love it. Guys, here's our room, by the way, if you haven't seen our vlog of the tour. Gorgeous, gorgeous villa with a beautiful view of the jungle at the back. Mountains back there. All right, guys, we're going for a swim. 
Let's see if Sahara can swim. I wear speedos. When I'm at the beach, you see me wear my speedos. Okay. See if Sahara can swim. Ready? Okay, one, two, three, go. Go to daddy. Go, go, go. Yay! Yay! Oh, she's a good swimmer. Good girl. You can swim. Good girl. I knew she could. Okay, put her in. Come, 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 Sarah. <laughs> She's already dog paddling. Come. No, not there. This way, this way, this way. Yep, good girl. All right. So for those of you who are asking about whether or not our pool will have a way for the dogs to get out, the answer is yes, absolutely. But yeah, our pool will be friendly for kids and little dogs like Sahara. <laughs> All right, Cypher, it's your turn. Your turn to swim, Cypher. Yes. We already know that Cypher can swim. He's like, no! All right, swim to daddy. Go swim to daddy. Go, go, go! Good boy! Yay, good boy. <laughs> Very good boy. Okay, come. One, two, come. Three, go. Come, Cypher. Come, come, come. Come to daddy. Yes, good boy. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Yay. There you go. Ah, oh, our dogs are such good swimmers. Okay, RJ. Now it's your turn to swim. You can just go, go under the water. This is not even a deep pool, guys. Like, you can't tread. But the reason we're getting a pool is because RJ doesn't know how to swim and he needs to learn. So what he'll do is he'll plug his nose and close his eyes and just kick. But can you do it without plugging your nose? Just use your arms to like as if you're moving the water go do it you could Don't do it me. just do it we're all cheering for you okay ready <laughs> go rj don't be shy come on go yes oh my gosh she's doing it rj that's awesome you did it that's the very first time i've seen you do it without you plugging your nose now try to do it the whole way that was perfect. <laughs> okay, my boy has got to have to turn it off because he's self-conscious. All right, so like one of the things I found interesting moving here to the Philippines is that a lot of Filipinos do not know how to swim. A lot, like the majority. Um, and I'm like, what? How does that work? Because it's an island nation. But then I, after thinking about it for a while, I was like, okay, actually not all people grew up on the coast, like where the beach is, so fair. But also, this is a different, it's a developing country, right? So a lot of people don't have swimming pools. Like that's considered an expensive luxury. Um, so those who did grow up with the privilege of having a pool in their yard, maybe they were able to learn to swim um, or you know anyone who paid for swimming lessons. But that's why I believe most Filipinos don't know how to swim <laughs> because in Canada and US as well most people I would say know how to swim you know we would go to the public pool right in terms of my brother and I my dad would always bring us to our Tito Henry's house our uncle's place and he had a pool they just threw us in at the age at age five so like we had to learn and and we did and I'm glad we did um but here in the Philippines I I find like RJ doesn't know how to swim our house helper at the LC doesn't know how to swim, um, but hopefully that will change when we have our own pool. Ah, the best. Okay, Mabuhay squad. Now we're up for something very, very interesting. Earlier in the vlog, I said that we're gonna have our blood Examine, check out what's about to happen. 